Hi guys, this is Rahul and you're welcome to gomahamaya.com and in this beautiful tutorial, we'll be learning application of Z index of the Alimento plugin. So before I start explaining you the Z index, how to work with that, I want to explain you the real meaning of Z index. So we'll go to this image. Let's say uh, you have one element. Let's say you have something uh, banner here and second banner you have this one and third banner you have this one means all these three are separate separate element and we want the overlapping of the product okay half of the area should be covered by this one but it i want it to be on the top of this one and half of the area will be covered by this one and i want this to be covered on the top of the this particular green one so here comes the picture of Z index. So Z index is whichever Z index value will be more will be on the top. Here the index value of blue one is more that's why it's on the top of the red one and green one. The Z index value is more in case of red one as compared to green one. So there's no define you can write any value. Let's say I want to give 100 for green one. This is assume any value you can give 100 then you have to give 101 up for this one red one if you want to give for blue one you have to give 102 plus something or 102 so that it will be more in terms of z index if you are giving one for z index value as for green as one then for red one you have to give two or you can give three also there's no fixed point that you should give two only for blue one you have to give three plus or more than what is the value you are giving for red one so let's assume one two three that's why it's on the top and that just behind it it's two and just behind it one you cannot go negative because there's a something zero okay let's assume this is zero okay you're, you're sending back sending back means this will not be visible so you cannot give zero so now we'll have the real applications of z index so i have this pre-made template of elementor and there have imported table from the layout and these are not overlap each other okay so first what i'll do if you'll hover over you'll find edit column option in this area if you will hover over this you can find edit column over this area if you will hover over it means you can find edit column over this area okay this is particular for this this is particular for this this is particular for this so now what i did i i added some changes to the design of the table to make you understand in a proper way so what i did i added some margin in this one so that it get behind that and I added some margin over this one so that height of this one should move up and for this one also I did same like that only so that it should look upper on that like it should be on the top it should be below that it should be below all these two because as as we can see the pricing $19 $49 and $99 so I want it to be on the top I want it to be below I want it to be below over all these two so what I'll do I'll click here means you are editing this column okay so this is the margin I added for uh, my first table and there you'll find Z index so as I explain you I've already explained you that the lower the Z index value means it will be the below in the sections. So if the Z index value for this one is three, for this one, blue one is two, and this one is one, then blue will overlap white and white will overlap this blue. Okay, so let's give here one means now this one the z index value for this blue table is zero now for this one also is zero okay that's why it's overlapped now i'll click here i gave one to this table i'll click here and for z index value i'll write it as two now you can see this came up 
Similarly, if I'll click here and I'll go to advanced and there inside Z index value, I'll say three. Now you can say this table come up. Now let's go back to this one and I want this white to come up over this one. The Z index value for this one is two. So I'll give here three or four, whatever I want. I'll give it will come up. So if I'll give three also, it will come up. If I'll give two means it will be normal. So now how I hope you're getting this particular sections. Now what we'll do, we'll try to overlap these things. Okay. So uh, I'll, I'll go click on this section and I'll go to advanced and I'll go to Z index value. I'll write it as two. Okay. And, and I'll try to add some margin so that it get overlapped so that you can understand in a proper way again. So I'll take some margin here so okay now i want this this particular section to come up okay z index value for this section is two so what i'll do i'll click on this section and i'll click on advanced and there on the z index value i'll write it as three now you can see there's an overlapping of the content it come up let's say if i'll write one it will go behind again again if i'll write three it will come up so I hope you got concept. One more thing I want to explain you that is navigation. If you click on the navigation, you can find sections. In case of complications, you can use these sections. Let's say if, 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 if one, I want this one. Okay. So I'll uh, try to click here and I can see, okay, which section uh, hide that. Okay. This one is the section which I need to edit. So I'll click here. And inside that column, what are the columns you have? You can edit that inner sections using this one. You can edit and click. Let's say if you want to select this one, this will get selected and you can directly go to the column setting instead of choosing from this area and that area. It's quite easy. So I hope you find this video useful. If you did give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more further updates. Thank you.